Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. We help ambitious men end their out-of-control sexual behavior with pornography, sex, and masturbation so that you can maximize your life, perform at your potential, and remain in control in the driver's seat, which is where you have to be in order to gain or maintain the success you want in life. I'm your host, JK Amazie, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. Today, as I promised earlier on in the week, we're going to be going over the stages of the porn reboot system. I'm going to be breaking up each episode into a different stage. Each one is going to be short and concise and just consider it a quick summary of each of the different stages of the porn reboot system. So the first stage is what we call the pre-reboot. Now at this stage, you may or may not be in our program already. Chances are you are listening to, you know, episodes of the podcast, you're watching our YouTube channel, you are communicating with me via email, or you are in the process of speaking to one of our reboot strategists to find out if you're a good fit for our system or just to get some feedback on the process that you are using to control your behavior. But I'm going to break this down into goals for each stage, the process of each stage, the strengths that you need in each stage, and the dangers that you face. So in the pre-reboot stage, there are three simple goals. The first goal is to actually recognize your compulsive behavior. And chances are, if you're listening to this podcast episode, you do recognize that you have a compulsive behavior. However, it doesn't mean that you have fully accepted it. You might recognize it, but you might still be playing games with your porn addiction cycle. So you might still be playing around with the restoration stage, which is the stage where, you know, you have a big slip and then you tell yourself, oh my God, this was such a devastating slip. I can never do this again. And so you throw away all your pornography, you clear your browser history, you download a filter, you do all these things, and then you rationalize that, you know, this is the last time and tell yourself all the reasons why it's never going to happen again. And for a week or two weeks or for a couple of months, you're doing very well, right? You no longer need to listen to this podcast. In fact, sometimes some men are just violently, (laughs) violently opposed to hearing anything about addiction. They just don't want to hear it because it's actually challenging your subconscious. And so you just want to focus on the fact that you are done with this behavior. But inevitably, if your brain hasn't rewired and you haven't used the system of some sort, whether it's the porn reboot system, something you put together yourself or or working with a therapist or a counselor, inevitably, you're going to go through the cycle and you're going to relapse again. So the first goal is to recognize your compulsive behavior. If a brother gets on the phone with me or one of the reboot strategists and he doesn't recognize his compulsive behavior and he starts off by saying, well, you know what? I don't really have a compulsive behavior with pornography, JK. I'm not really like some of the guys you talk about. I don't cheat on my wife. You know, he's already minimizing. You know, it's like I only watch pornography once every couple of months. And my problem is that when I do, it's a binge and I feel very down on myself and I'm not able to focus for a week or two weeks and I just don't want to do it. But honestly, for the most part, I'm good. You know, I'm good for a couple of months. I don't really have a problem. Not a good fit for our program, right? You're still justifying your behavior and you don't recognize it as a compulsive behavior. Maybe you call it a bad habit or, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a dependence on pornography, as some men say. The second goal is agreeing on behavioral control. So you have to agree in this pre-reboot stage that you need to control your behavior. Now, what would be the alternative? Well, some men at this stage, their goal is finding the root cause of their behavior, right? Their goal is finding out what the original wound was. Their goal is finding out what happened in my childhood. And I think it's very clear how I feel about that in the porn reboot system. Now, you have to control your behavior first. You have to learn coping strategies. You have to have access to the right tools. You might have to change your community. You might have to change your environment. You might have to get some accountability. When you have all these things in place and you've gained some proficiency with them, 
it's absolutely fine to go seeking the root cause. And there might very well be one. There might very well be a root cause for your porn addiction. But if you uncover certain emotions or a certain history and you do not have adequate coping strategies to kind of deal with them, because in most cases, your emotions are stunted. Your emotional maturity is stunted because at a certain age, you started medicating emotional issues and unresolved issues with pornography. You didn't go through the process of developing emotional maturity, which comes through different strategies to deal with these problems. So if you were to discover what the root cause was and you just don't have the tools to handle it, well, you're going to end up in this cycle of relapse. And the worst part about it is that you will be utterly convinced that this is a deeper issue than you thought it was. And so you keep digging deeper and deeper without realizing that you just don't have the right coping strategies. And this is how men and who were on a great path, they were doing well. All they needed to do was control their behavior, but they made the choice to go for the root cause. Now their entire life mission is kind of thrown off course because they are a psychological mess, incapable of focusing and excelling at their day-to-day -day activities because they've gone digging for something that they did not have the capability to control. So you have to agree that your behavior needs to be controlled. And the final goal is dealing with withdrawal symptoms and managing the crises which brought you to this specific point. So some men uh, during the pre-reboot stage might not be going through withdrawal symptoms. Others might be in the thick of it. Usually, most men who reach out to us are dealing with withdrawal symptoms. In fact, it's the, the inability to cope with their withdrawal symptoms that causes them to reach out for help in the first place. So we have to make you clear about what withdrawal is. And the first thing my reboot strategists typically do is we immediately prescribe something that you can do to kind of ease the emotional, the psychological pain, or even the physical discomfort that you're experiencing at that moment. And next is managing whatever crisis may have brought you in. So we have men who reach out to us who have lost their jobs because they were discovered to be viewing pornography. We have men who reach out to us because they were just accused of some form of sexual harassment. Of course, we have the gentlemen who reach out to us due to infidelity and being caught. Sometimes not being caught, but just feeling very guilty about it. Some men have caught an STD from acting out. Some men have just hit a psychological crisis because maybe something happened and they acted out in a way that they never thought they would. So there's just this huge clash between their behavior and their actual identity. And they reach out to us and it's a crisis. So the things we need to focus on right then, again, just a quick summary of the goals of the pre-reboot stage are, first of all, you recognizing your compulsive behavior. We have to agree on the fact that there needs to be behavioral control. We need to manage any withdrawal symptoms you might be experiencing. And of course, we have to manage any crises that you might be facing when you first show up. Next is the process. And I'm going to keep it simple because this is just a summary. The process in the pre-reboot stage of the porn reboot system is simply allowing others to help you, allowing others to support you. And this is very important because most men have never spoken to anyone about their out of control behavior. I remember that for so many years, I thought I was the only man who was dealing with this problem. I literally thought I was the only person who was dealing with it. And there was so much shame in not being able to control my sexual behavior. Now, imagine my relief. Unfortunately, I'd already <laughs> controlled my behavior to a certain point, but I did experience a lot of relief years and years later when I found out that a lot of men were dealing with this and I wasn't the only one and I wasn't strange and I wasn't weird and I wasn't this immature, childish individual because I was a grown man who couldn't stop masturbating, who would come back from the bars every night in college and masturbate, who would masturbate several times during the day, who would masturbate the moment he got stressed out, the moment he got tired during the day. That was the type of man that I was. 
And so it was very difficult for me to open up and admit to others that I had this problem. And even today, there are men out there who are amazing at opening up about different aspects of their life. You know, they, they can open up about things that happened to them in the past. They can open up about little lies that they've told. They can open up about their emotions. But when it comes to sexual behavior, a lot of people kind of keep that <laughs> locked in a safe deep within their soul. It's so interesting when I speak speak to individuals, whether it's in my social life or if I'm in a meeting for one of my other endeavors and, you know, someone asks me, well, you know, what do you do? And I tell them what I do and I'm very straight up about it. I don't sugarcoat anything. I tell men exactly what I do, all women what I do. There's just this look in some people's faces. And sometimes after we've, you know, had a conversation, sometimes people just briefly allude to it. And it's very interesting. Individuals will, this is unrelated to porn re, but just individuals I meet out and about in life. By the end of a meeting, let's say it's a business meeting or it's a coaching meeting or a meeting friends or, and they are introducing me to their friends. Usually at the end of the night, the end of the dinner, end of whatever that occasion is, somebody will come up to me, right? They had an opportunity to do so earlier in the evening or earlier in the day, but right at the end, when they know that they're going to get away, <laughs> they'll come up to me and be like, I just wanted to say that you're doing really great work for men. This is actually something that I currently struggle with, or I struggled with. Sometimes they're struggling with it, but they use the past tense. So it doesn't seem as if they are struggling with it. <laughs> this is something that I, I struggled with. And I just want you to know that, you know, doing great work. And some guys sit down with me and they're like, Hey, could I, could I talk to you briefly about about this because I do struggle with it. But my point with that is that it's really challenging to allow other people to help you. It's huge. And you cannot get past the first stage till you do that. And I have a lot of admiration, admiration and respect for individuals who can meet a stranger and make a decision to open up to him about that. And that's basically the task of our reboot strategists. That's what they do. And that's why I'm very insistent on making sure that men who are a representation of elevated recovery are men who have control over their behavior, men who understand what it is like to struggle with this. So what are the strengths that you need in the pre-reboot stage? Well, the strengths you need are trust and hope. And what is hope? Hope is a feeling or an expectation and a desire for a certain thing to happen. The reason why I gave the definition is because there are some men who want to end their behavior, but they don't have any hope. And that could happen for various reasons. Maybe you feel that you have, quote unquote, failed many times. Maybe you have been through something that you were told would work, like a 12-step group, or you worked with highly recommended counselor, or you did one thing or the other, and it just disappointed you, right? And really deep within you, you don't have much of an expectation. You're like, I don't think this is going to work. Well, you can't get past stage one till you have developed that hope. And we turn away in the porn reboot system, we turn away men every day because they do not have hope. Of course, we try to instill hope in you, but there's no point in letting a man into our program if he has low expectations. In cases like this, we'll still keep in touch with you if you reach out. We'll keep in touch with you. We'll talk to you. We'll, we'll just see how you're doing over time. We'll give you access to free resources, resources which you may not have access to by listening to the podcast or via our YouTube channel. And we'll slowly you know, help you build up hope. A great place to build hope is our free porn reboot group on Facebook. The free group is a place where you can see a lot of guys who are using the system for free, making progress, right? And when you're in there and you surround yourself with the right people, when you're in the right community, then it starts rubbing off on you. And of course, trust is very important. It's part of the process, but it's also a strength that you need. And that leads to the biggest danger. So the biggest danger in stage one, the pre-reboot stage of the porn reboot system is a lack of trust and a lack of hope. So basically, if you don't have the prerequisite strengths to move past the first stage, 
then you're going to sabotage yourself, right? And when I talk about trust as a danger, I don't just mean trust in the system. I mean, trusting yourself, right? Do you truly believe that you are able to end this behavior? Without self-belief, I've said it on another podcast episode, this is not going to work, right? And I would much rather that a brother speak to a reboot strategist and learn how to build up self-belief and then go away and spend the next couple of months building up his self-belief. And when he's ready, he can go work with a therapist, the counselor, or if he feels comfortable, he can come back and work with us. But anyway, that is stage one of the porn reboot system. That is the pre-reboot stage. In the next episode, I'll be talking about the second stage, which is the early reboot. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. I'll speak to you later on in the week. If you found this episode helpful, here are four ways I can help you with your out-of-control sexual behavior for free. The first way is to grab a free copy of my book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn-Free Men at elevatedrecovery.org or visit the link in the description below this episode. The second way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals and business owners who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's a link to join in the description below this episode. The third way is if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally or emotionally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt and underachieving, then click on the link in the description below this episode that says free coaching call. And the fourth way is to leave us a five-star review if you enjoy this podcast so that we can reach more men who are struggling in silence and bring back the lessons we learn from coaching them to freedom. 